Well, things have calmed down quite a bit from where we were about uh, 10 hours or so ago with those uh, that second line of showers and thunderstorms that came through here and very intense lines of storms. Well, right now we have skies clearing out. Temperatures are in the upper 60s and Storm Team 5 Skyview cameras powered by Pella windows and doors as we take a look at the Walnut Street Bridge. On this Saturday evening, the radar network, I'm happy to tell you, is quiet. Nothing's going on anywhere. In fact, uh, the few showers that we had across southwestern Wisconsin, a lot of that is now out of the way. And you can see those clouds starting to clear out across the northern half of the state, and that will continue to be the case for the rest of the southern half of the state. That low finally passes by, dragging down a little bit cooler air behind it. And that uh, boundary is also pushing all that hazy, hot, and humid conditions that we've been seeing the last couple of days. Uh, that is also kind of pushing down to the south. But we had all that moisture in the air and the heat. And when that front came through, we had uh, helped develop uh, a couple of powerful lines of storms, which we told you about at the beginning of the newscast, all the damage that caused. Well, that is now uh, to the east and south of us. Those showers and thunderstorms are moving in the eastern Great Lakes. Our temperatures currently are in the 60s, with the exception of Fond du Lac, which is still at 70 degrees. Now, dew point temperatures are still in the 60s, but that will also drop. So today we were kind of in that on our muggy meter, we would call it probably borderline humid or a little bit on the uncomfortable side. But we'll continue to see that drop off as we head in towards the day tomorrow, more in the comfortable range as we look for those dew point temperatures to drop into the 50s. Winds are generally on the light side with skies clearing out. That could actually generate a little bit of patchy fog late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But I think we're going to start things off tomorrow with uh, plenty of sunshine. And then we start to see some clouds build up later in the afternoon. Might see a sprinkle with uh, the time we hit into the evening, but I think for the most part, uh, we'll be looking at some clouds by the evening hours or so, and then we'll clear out early in the morning on Monday and looking for plenty of sunshine again during the day on Monday. Otherwise, we'll be looking for some pretty quiet weather, less humidity as we head into the next couple of days, and we're going to be looking for those temperatures more seasonal with the highs in the low 80s. So here's our forecast for the rest of the night tonight. Clearing, as I mentioned, a little bit of patchy late night, early morning fog. Otherwise, temperatures upper 50s to low 60s. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking for a sunny start, maybe some clouds later in the afternoon, north to south, and possibly a, a sprinkle or two as you head into the evening. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Just maybe you might notice it on the windshield as you're heading back home in the evening. But otherwise, temperatures are going to be 70s lakeshore and low 80s inland. As we take a look at the seven day planner, we'll look for less humidity then for the next couple of days. Pretty quiet day. Might see maybe a shower on Wednesday. A better chance, I think, for showers and maybe a few thunderstorms on Saturday. But look at those temperatures. Only low to mid 80s for highs. And overnight lows are going to be in the 50s to mid 60s as we start out some of these mornings. More comfortable levels in the next couple of days.